Hello there, I'm back again in the Colour Me Safe series. And this series is all about us looking at different areas of our life uh, in order to see whether we're keeping ourselves safe in those areas. And it's also about looking at our safe relationship toolbox and to see what's happening there, whether we're keeping that up to date and uh, using those tools that we have in our toolbox across many different areas of our life so that we keep them upgraded and this week I'm going to be talking to the ladies uh, but the gentlemen may find this useful as well because we all have masculine and feminine principles within us and this week I'm going to be talking about keeping us safe in our femininity and uh, this is a really powerful tool to be able to use, especially if we are women, because when we honour the feminine within us, we, we honour ourselves. We are an expression of source energy and uh, we are an expression of the feminine and even though we all have both principles within us. As women, we particularly express the feminine uh, in particular ways. And today I want to focus in on three points I want to make as far as us honouring the feminine so that we help to keep that part of us safe. And we do that through our own honour for the feminine within us and within other women as well and we honour the feminine in men as well so if you're a man watching this it's going to be quite useful for you to, to, to listen to this as well because some of these points are points which help us to actually honour both aspects within us uh, but today I'm focusing on the, the feminine so one of the ways in which we do not honour our own femininity is actually in not loving our feminine, but rather holding it in contempt. And often our socialisation is not useful necessarily in helping us to honour our feminine. Our social conditioning is not necessarily helpful in us doing that. And in our, in our upbringing sometimes, uh, some of us have not felt supported in our feminine. And when we want to think about keeping ourselves safe and having various tools in our safe relationship training toolbox, one of those tools can be honouring our own femininity because when we honour something, we are more likely to want to take care of it. And if we want to protect something, then knowing how to take care of it is quite important. So one of the ways in which we can stay safe through our femininity is to honour it. That means to respect it highly. And when we do that and when we respect something, we're more likely to want to protect it and take care of it. So that's the first point I wanted to make. And one of the ways sometimes that we, we do not sometimes subconsciously honour our femininity is through self-sabotage. And we hinder our own progress through sabotaging ourselves through not honouring our femininity and that can happen in our relationships or in the situations in our lives when we do not have very high standards for ourselves and our femininity and therefore that sometimes is worked out through our behavior and our actions and decisions and um, and that can sort of hold us back in our personal growth when we do that so that's one point i wanted to make um, the homework that I have for you this week, so I'm giving 
some a little bit of fun homework to do for everyone. And, and as I always say, if you can make this fun, really make it creative. Use whatever resources you have to do a creative project, if you will. Uh, and when you do that, you will find that you will enjoy doing personal development work much more when we make it as creative as possible. And we can do that in a whole number of ways which is special to you. Um, and the homework for this week is to actually look at our own attitude towards the feminine. Do we have any feelings there towards the feminine that, that are not helpful? Or do we have very positive attitudes towards the feminine? Do we really honour the feminine in ourselves and in other people as well? So that can be quite a fun project to do for this week for everyone, whether you're a man or a woman, just to have a look at our attitude towards the feminine and whether we really do honour and respect the divine feminine. Another way in which we can perhaps dishonour the feminine or honour the feminine is through our self-talk. How do we talk to ourselves inwardly when we think about ourselves as women? Or we think about that feminine aspect within us as men. Do we talk in a respectful manner? Do we honour the feminine through giving ourselves loving talk? And are we supportive? in our self-talk towards our femininity? Or are we negative? Do we criticize ourselves? Do we criticize the feminine? Do we have hidden beliefs about the feminine which are not always helpful? So that will uh, help you with your project hopefully this week. And um, thirdly, do, do we have any self-hate as far as the, the feminine is concerned? Or do we have very joyful feelings as far as the feminine is concerned? Do we enjoy our femininity? Do we enjoy expressing our femininity? And do we honour that enjoyment uh, by making space to uh, enjoy our femininity, by making space to nurture our femininity and to express it uh, in the world and with other people quite openly and quite freely, um, be without fear at all. So that's the exercise for this week. And uh, as always, stay safe and very happy. Bye-bye.